again and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so today i would like to invite you to join me create my june spread so i hope you will enjoy it and i hope you'll have a good time so first i create the grid for my monthly calendar and then pick a stencil to use for my days of the week and then here are the pens that I'm going to use for this month's theme. Then I'm using this vintage theme rubber stamps to stamp the dates or the days of the week. And then I just proceed to decorate the page. So this month's theme is vintage so i just gather all my vintage theme stickers and create my own kit to use for the rest of the month including my weeklies and then i'm using my handy dandy stencils to create the heading which is the month of june The next spread that we are going to create is my gratitude page. This is one of the most important spreads in my bullet journal or my creative journal because I try my best to list all of the things that I'm grateful for every day and that's very important. So the opposite page is where I write quotes or inspirational words that I got from online, from the book that I'm reading, or from someone that told it to me. So the next spread is my health and habit tracker. Everyone seems to do this in their um, bullet journal and this is very important to me as well because it's where I track all the new habits that I want to establish. This is actually the first time in a long while that I sit down and give a lot of time dedicated to creating my spreads for this month but I'm enjoying it and I miss doing it so I hope I'm gonna do this like more of this in the future. So the next spread is my Daya vlog or my diabetes log so this is where i track my blood sugar level and then my blood pressure and then the food that i eat during the day so i'm using these stickers to remind myself to guard what i eat especially the sweets that i eat every day Well, I don't really eat sweets anymore, but I just want to put it there to remind me to be careful and be cautious of what I put inside my body every day. So here I am browsing through my stickers to look for a cookie or a macaroon that would represent my dialogue. So I just decided to add more stickers to my calendar. I used to create a cover before every, um, before I create my calendar, but then I just decided to do away with it and create my calendar as my cover instead. So here I am adding stickers to my calendar. And then I also add a book sticker so I can write all the list of the books that I plan to read for June. I also include a color code blood glucose level every day 
which is my fasting sugar so green is the ideal level or the ideal range orange is in the middle and the red one is what i have to avoid as much as possible So in my dialogue, I make sure that I track my blood sugar level in the morning um, before breakfast and then sometimes at noon after lunch and before I go to bed in the evening. I also make sure that I track my blood pressure as well as what I eat for breakfast, for lunch and for dinner that day, including snacks. So I guess we are done here. So those are my spreads for June. I hope you got an idea and I hope you're inspired to do your own spreads. So thank you so much for joining me if you've come this far. And I hope you subscribe and share and like. It means so much to me. And also thank you for subscribing if you have already. So bye for now.